Hello, today managers here will discuss the handy law hot pot and analyze its level of competence in globalization to provide practical and achievable recommendations. Emma, Scalard, Evelyn, Zander, and Janelle. Now, let us start by looking at the company. So, let's move on to the first point. Heidi Law was founded in 1994 in Jianyang City, Sichuan Province. It is a large transcritical direct sale restaurant. Brown with Sichuan hotpot and its main business, and the characteristics of various hotpot. Its founder is Zhang Yong. Heidi Law has 466 direct stores worldwide and is aiding five to seven a year. So let me first give you a brief overview. As you can see, this graph is the Heidi Law's revenue and year-on-year -year growth from 2015 to 2019. Heidi Law's revenue has a significant increase in 2019. This was mainly due to the 308 additional stores opened in 2019. So let's welcome the ammo. I will discuss the advantages of Heidi Law hotpot in globalization. The first one is advantage of capital support. Since 1994, Heidi Law has opened more than 600 restaurants in the domestic market of China. The second one is advantage of service. Heidi Law is famous for its service, which is one of the main reasons for its, for its success in China. Heidi Law has Heidi Law focused on the entire customer experience, especially the waiting experience. It provides a variety of services, such as snacks and drinks. Meanwhile, Heidi Law also provides the message service, shoes shine service, and board games, all for the free. Besides, Heidi Law provides the car washing service and the chair message service that extend well beyond China, beyond the Chinese traditional restaurants provide. The third one is the influence of Chinese in global market. The distribution of Chinese customer globally is conducive for Heidi Lao to continue expanding in the global market. Meanwhile, the word of mouth from Chinese customers is likely to attract more foreigner, foreign customers in different markets glo globally since promoting the globalization of Heidi Lao. The last one is experience of cooperating with global Beams. In 2018, Alibaba cooperated with Heidi Lau on the robot project and opened the first robotic restaurant in Shanghai. The cooperation with global games such as Patismatic and Alibaba is conducive for, for Heidi Lau to gain more results in technology, supply chain, log logistics, and other steps when promoting its global strategy. I will choose Korean market as an example. I think the disadvantages are mainly in these four aspects. Most of the Korean consumers who participated in the survey did not know Heidi Lao, and they were more familiar with the other Chinese hop brands. Furthermore, Heidi Lao hardly put any advertisement or promotion in the South Korean market, which is the main reason for the lower bonus. In the next section, Heidi Lao hop did not properly adjust its test according to local conditions when it entered the overseas markets. For example, most Korean people cannot accept hot and non bean tests. In the past three, in addition to the traditional Korean hotpot, they also hop out restaurants from Japan and Thailand, and they have occupied a large market. In the last place, Heidi Lao has been repeatedly exposed to safety problems in China and Singapore, which will affect Heidi Lao's global reputation. Therefore, Heidi Lao needs to increase publicity in overseas markets. Heidi Lao's lack of investment in overseas diversity is one of the main obstacles to its successful globalization. In the recent overseas market, Heidi Lao mainly relies on customers out of months to expand its popularity, which absolutely limits the company's share of the overseas market. Heidi Lao can use the advantage brought by the information age, take social media marketing strategy to increase publicity and brand promotion effect efforts to achieve the brand effect. For example, make effective use of Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. You use the celebrity effect to their to invite local online celebrities to test Heidi Love for free and record the whole process by shooting a vlog. 
with this social media, how they allow can listen to customer and promote their products, influence customer and increase market share. Secondly, launch product and service according to local conditions. How to give firm foothold in the overseas market require Heidi Law to realize the overseas business localization development as soon as possible. Heidi Law needs to change its service model and product type on the basis of hiring to the service concept and the special culture. And these changes need to be close to the habits and the customers of local people. For example, due to the South Korea love for Chinchi, Heidi Law can launch a hot boat with a pixel fever in the Korea market, launch a hot boat with a Dongmyeonggong soup fever in the Thailand market. The third recommendation, make short and long-term development plans. One year or two years for short term, five years for long term. Hot pot competition is endless. There are always new brands to join and customers always need more choice. So the globalization of Heidi Lau, rather than repeat expansion, stable development is more important. The longer it can stay in global market, it will be more competitive. The fourth recommendation, implement strict food safety and hygiene regulations. In the restaurant business, safety is most important than taste and service. Require the staff in their daily work to comply with strict food safety, restaurant hygiene rules, regularly assign a team to visit restaurants and factories, check the implementation schedule, find the problem in advance, and solve it in time. There are three detailed suggestions. For the end, what do you want to discuss with us? Thank you.